everybody's heard about the bird, the peacock, NBC. It's NBC's classic TV Monday. Go say I'm home. Wah! On Susan the Ricardos meet the Cleavers. How do you? Then up fired up where no mission is impossible. And enter the Caroline Zone. <laughs> where she's trapped in Julia's body. <laughs> and the naked truth with Wonder Woman. Only classic TV Monday on NBC. You're watching the National Geographic special, Don't Say Goodbye, on NBC. You asked for it and you got it. Hearing next Saturday and every Saturday, catch TV censored bloopers 98. Now, every Saturday, the biggest stars and clubs. Did I mention it's on Saturday? Bloopers so wild, we're in a tither. TV censored bloopers 98 premieres NBC next Saturday. You see it on the highways. It's everywhere. Wavy News 10's Traffic Jam Cam. Live, right from the highways you travel. Keeping an eye on Hampton Roads traffic, tunnel congestion, and highway headaches. If it happens on the interstate, you'll see it live right here on Wavy TV 10. Wavy News 10's Traffic Jam Cam. Watch for it live during daily traffic reports or wherever there's news to be seen on Hampton Roads highways. It's Traffic Jam Cam, only on the station on your side. Wavy TV 10. When winter weather threatens Hampton Roads, Wavy Super Doppler 10 keeps you ahead of the storm. Why? Because it can see snow when other radars can't. This means we can warn you of treacherous travel spots and dangerous driving conditions before you get stuck. Is the storm headed for my house? How soon will it get here? You'll know exactly what to expect and when to expect it. We can now show you the very lightest rain or snow. Six times the power with street level precision. Super Doppler 10 is always on your side. It's Super Bowl time, and Wavy News 10 is kicking off the new year with a super surprise. Out with the old, in with the new. Now, the way you see the news will change forever. Proud to be on your side and leading the way in 98, we're setting the stage of newscasts for the future. Super Doppler 10 is super duper, capable of running circles around other radar systems before bad weather touches down. Sunday at 11, all of the pieces will come together, and you'll see why Wavy News 10 is a winner. The latest on the death of Katie Couric's husband tonight at 11. Oh, excuse me, could you... Oh, hey, excuse me, could you hold... Hey, hey, oh, excuse me, could... Hey, hey, hey. Could you hold that, please? When you're nice on the inside, it shows on the outside. Thank you. I gotta get one of those. Hallmark Gold Crown, the store for people like you. Just out of the bag, 99 cent out of the blue cards. Fun little cards to send just because. Right now at Hallmark Gold Crown. After the Super Bowl, they're here. Ah! Leggy invaders from Venus on a mission of seduction. Yes. Are you going to keep us here and make us your sex slaves? No. Are you sure? I mean, that would be a pretty good evil plan. Oh, Only torture. Shut up! Cindy Crawford in the big one-hour third rock after the Super Bowl on NBC. On Dodge Caravan. You're watching the National Geographic special, Don't Say Goodbye, on NBC. Next on NBC, defending champion Christy Yamaguchi, Ekaterina Gordieva, Nancy Kerrigan, Oksana Bayul, and more. Don't miss the exciting conclusion of the equal World Professional Figure Skating Championships, coming up next on NBC. Yeah, um, I'll have a big Buford, please. Ooh, that sounds good. What, you want one? Absolutely. You sure? Yeah, because, uh, we could share. No, no, we each get our own. So that's two big Bufords? Yeah, you heard the man. Two big Bufords, only three bucks. That's right, not one, but two big Bufords for only three bucks. Right now at Rallies. Ah, oh, let's eat. Mm. <laughs> And what would you like to start with this evening, sir? A bit of salad? Yes. Yes, that would be nice. At Old Country Buffet, you don't need a waiter. Sir, for the main course, would you like some carved roast beef or baked chicken? You don't need a menu. You must try our famous caramel rolls. I don't mind if I do. All you need is a plate. For dessert, bread pudding. 
Old Country Buffet. What's on your plate? Ah, oh, excellent choice, sir. ODU, William and Mary battle for first place. I'll have highlights at 11. Less than 30 miles away from Arthur's quiet butterflies, a more prominent airborne creature is at risk. Catalina Island, just west of Los Angeles, is home to 12 bald eagles. But the eagles have an unseen enemy, DDT. Listen, you may not believe this. It's a very scary thought, but your parents used to be teenagers. Some were popular, Woo! others were nerdy, some were even wild. Imagine that visual. So if they ever want to talk to you about stuff, give it a try. They may understand more than you think, because they were there once. Your grandparents have the photos to prove it. Recapture the moment. Call 1-800-924-6738 and order Don't Say Goodbye from National Geographic Home Video for only $19.95 plus shipping and handling. Call now. Can you tell me which way it is to the Natchez Trace? Go back to the four-way stop. People who care so much... Good morning. Hillary Rodham Clinton is our special guest live and in our studio today, Tuesday, January 27th, 1998. From NBC News, this is Today with Katie Couric and Matt Lauer, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. And good morning and welcome to Today on this Tuesday morning. I'm Matt Lauer. And I'm Ann Curry. And this morning for Katie, good morning on an important day for the country. That's right. President Clinton will deliver his annual State of the Union address tonight, but it is the state of his presidency that's on the minds of many. For the first time since allegations of a sexual relationship with a White House intern first broke, we'll hear in just a few minutes from the First Lady of the United States. Now, she had agreed several weeks ago to appear here this morning to talk about the State of the Union and child care in particular. She has honored her commitment. Wait, get a great deal now. Her children were killed in the Oklahoma bombing. I'll never have their little arms around me again. She thought she could never have another child. I wanted to die. Now, hear the amazing twist of fate that brought her a new son. I'm so in love with my baby. The whole nation has been cheering for you. Plus, bad blood between sisters kept them separated for decades. Now, their joyful surprise reunion. Oh, I love you. This is what makes this show <laughs> worthwhile for us. An emotional hour you won't want to miss. All new next to these hours. Tuesday morning at 11 on Wavy TV 10. Bring home the latest ideas from Home Expo 98. 7.30 now on this Tuesday morning, January 27th, 1998. Some of the people who have come down to possibly catch a glimpse of the First Lady here outside Rockefeller Center or outside Hi. Studio 1A in Rockefeller Center. And I don't know if they did catch a glimpse of her, but she has probably just left the building. Mm. Anyway, back inside Studio 1A, I'm Matt Lauer, along with Ann Curry and Al Roker, and busy half hour coming up. Presidential, Ver presidential friend Vernon Jordan is scheduled to testify at a grand jury hearing today to tell what he knows about the Monica Lewinsky allegations. And the president, of course, is putting the finishing touches on the State of the Union address. He'll deliver that tonight. We'll discuss both those things and why the president's lawyers have asked for an earlier trial in the Paula Jones case in just a few moments. We'll also take a look at the impending execution of Carla Faye Tucker, scheduled for one week from today. The death penalty is good politics in Texas, which is likely to outweigh whatever settlement there is for sparing her life. But at 7.30, coming up at 7.31, let's go to the news desk and Sarah James. Sarah? Good morning, Matt and Ann and Al. Good morning, everyone. First Lady Hillary Rodham Clinton this morning denounced the investigation now underway against her husband as politically motivated. The First Lady spoke with Matt earlier on today and called press coverage of the firestorm at the White House a vigorous feeding frenzy. She again expressed her support for her husband. The President has denied these allegations on all counts unequivocally and um, we'll, we'll see how this plays out. Meantime, Independent Counsel Kenneth Starr is considering whether to grant immunity to Monica Lewinsky in exchange for her testimony. Lewinsky's lawyers Monday submitted a summary of exactly what the former White House intern is prepared to testify to in the scandal. Whatever Lewinsky says, Mr. Clinton Monday emphatically denied any sexual relationship with her. Have. 
NBC's Tom Brokaw will have more on all of this tonight on NBC Nightly News. He will be reporting from the nation's capital. Thanks, Sarah. Tonight, the State of the Union and the State of the Clinton Presidency. How will the sex scandal affect Bill Clinton's ability to do his job and work for America? We'll have that story and all the details tonight on NBC Nightly News from Washington. Sarah? Thanks, Tom. And a reminder, you can see the President's State of the Union address live starting at 9 tonight Eastern Time here on NBC. Testimony begins today in a hearing to determine whether the NBA and the Golden State Warriors went too far in punishing Latrell Sprewell. Sprewell was thrown out of the league for a year for attacking his coach. He subsequently lost a $25 million contract. In Denver last night, the party was a mile high and the smiles were a mile wide for the brand new Super Bowl champs. More than 25,000 people turned out to greet John Elway and the Broncos as they returned from their Super Bowl triumph in San Diego. And it's not over yet. Today, Denver gets another chance to celebrate the Broncos' win with the parade. And at 7.33, time to go back to Matt, Ann, and Al. All thanks, right, Sarah, Sarah, thanks very much. I feel good about that every time I see John Elway. Yeah. I have good a feeling Denver is going to be celebrating for months, for that, years That's to come. probably true. And how's the weather for their celebration? It's going to be just as good a job as you did on that interview. Oh, well, thank you very much. Let's go to the <laughs> First weather. Lady, nice job. Hey, let's take a look, show you what's going on. In fact, it's going to be nice and mild for Denver. The Rockies is going to be beautiful. Temperatures in the 60s, fog in the Great Lakes, a lot of wet weather, heavy thunderstorms, flooding possible in the southeast, all the way down into Florida. Bitterly cold in northern New England, and we've got some nice weather in the northern plains as well. That's what's going on around the country. Here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. Expect. And here's today's Super Doppler 10 forecast. Good morning, Hampton Roads. Temperatures starting off in the upper 30s inland, low 40s near the shore, becoming breezy out there. And our storm system, you can see it south of us, and that's headed our way, folks. The forecast. Dry this morning, but cloudy rain and wind developing this afternoon, 45 to 50 for a high. Watches and warnings in effect, Coastal Flood Watch Virginia, Coastal Flood Warning Carolina. 734, now here's Matt. Al, thank you. Under normal circumstances in Washington, today's focus would be on tonight's State of the Union address. You're watching Today, America's favorite morning program. Tonight, Chase All New with the Green Bay Packers, Brett Favre, actor Kevin Spacey, and Golden Globe winner Angelina Jolie. Also this week, Kelsey Grammer and Yasmin Bleed. Plus an all-new Conan, NBC, tonight. Jennifer Flowers, eerie link to Monica Lewinsky. I'm Hard Coffee. Good morning, 3 before 8 o'clock. We'll check John's forecast in just a moment. Right now, jam cam shot as we check the highways, 64 west at Norview right now. Traffic is flowing. No major problems reported so far. Expect your normal delays if you're in the beach headed into Norfolk. A recall affecting some of you who bought a new Dodge truck. Chrysler is recalling 25,000 1998 model Dodge Durango trucks because of a defect that could cause a fire. So far, Chrysler has investigated four cases of electrical fires in the trucks, but there have been no reports of any accidents or injuries involving the Durango. If you have a 1998 Dodge Durango, you can take it into a dealer for a free inspection. It should take less than five minutes. Local casualties come as Governor Jim Gilmore tries to make room for his plan to eliminate the car tax. Gilmore has asked the General Assembly to cut $2 million earmarked for the Mariner's Museum in Newport News, the Virginia Air and Space Center in Hampton, and the planned Hampton History Museum. So he's going to have to find some of the money through uh, increases in revenue from economic growth, and some of it's coming for some reductions in, in spending. And Governor Allen had proposed some pretty good increases for arts uh, institutions, and unfortunately, although some of those increases are going to still be there, they're not going to be as large as anticipated. The money is part of $134 million in new spending that will have to be cut to pay for the car tax plan. All right, some lottery numbers and John's forecast in just a moment. It's a good old-fashioned nor'easter with temperatures in the 40s. By Thursday, it's all over. John, thank you, sir. John will be back with more than the forecast in eight minutes. More news at 825 with Christy Carlo and, of course, a complete wrap coming up on Wave News 10 at noon. We'll see you then. Wavy TV Super Doppler 10. It's here. Eight o'clock now on a Tuesday morning, the 27th day of January, 1998. Al, is it a pretty day? It's hard to tell. It is a lovely day today. Going to continue that way? Uh, absolutely. 
Move over, Lauer. Al Roker, sexiest man alive. Get